Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Ekamak. This is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. In the last episode we went back and forth on this... Okay, that ruined my opening, but we went back and forth on this minecart the entire episode. Actually, no we didn't, but it certainly felt like it with the amount of times I had to try to get this rotten stamp station, didn't it? Let's hope that there's a heart recovery in the end, because we might be slightly in trouble. Also, 20 arrows. Keep in mind that number because it's going to be important for when we face the boss. Uh, you told us about the previous four stuff. But wait a minute. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering, wait, did we miss a treasure chest up there? No, 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 that's not what it was. The treasure chest was, uh... Ugh. That was actually one uh, little trick we had to do with the arrow bouncers, so... Interesting. Very interesting. I think this is a warning about which switches we should and shouldn't hit. So, let's just give them circling so we know which ones to hit and which ones to avoid. I think what's over here? Huh. How unusual. Bomb flowers explode in lava. Oh, thank you. Not this one. Okay, yeah, it's to avoid hitting the lava. Carry the boss key by cart. Oh. Well, that sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun, doesn't it? You got a pirate's necklace. It's another Tetra knockoff. Honestly, you're not sure why you're excited by this point because it's always these cheap-ass necklaces. Like, look at that, 150? I suppose it's a tier 2 ingredient, but still. So right at the end, there's one that you have to hit with the bow and arrow. And just to be sneaky, you've got to equip the whip to get over here. Man, people complain about how Legend of Zelda makes the dungeon items only a single use. But look at this! We're still using the thing we picked up in the very first dungeon. Maybe not very often, but it is still there. Skip this one. Huh.
Wait a minute, I have an idea, but it might be crazy. It might also cost me a piece of- it might also cost me some health to do. I did not mean to roll into there, but... Mm. Did I miss something I was supposed to mark or something? Because that... Well, maybe I just aimed better this time. They definitely made the boss keys a lot more creative in this game, I can say that much. Oh, sure, give me arrows. Why not? Step into the blue light to return to the temple entrance. Alright, it's time. Let's do this. Volcano Lava Lord. I've heard people complain, say that the European version of this just isn't that interesting because it's just flat out volcano, but with a specifically different vowel, and that the American version of Pragma is just so much cooler. I think it's all down to taste, honestly. Hey, 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 over here, over here, buddy. Oh, uh, another swing, give it another swing. There we go. the music kicks into overdrive. We have to hit those claws on him with only so many... We, we're only allowed so many missed laps. If we take too many... If we take too long, then he is actually going to knock us off the train here. get thrown to the bottom where we can start picking chunks out of his head here. But honestly, it has been so long since I played this, I had actually forgotten that there's dynamic music for this fight because... Because I only... they don't have both of the tracks on my... Uh, I don't have both of the tracks down for download. They only have the stronger version when you're riding the rails. That's kind of unfortunate because this is pretty cool music. Oh, incidentally, if you run out of arrows, then he will immediately knock you off. So maybe I should have been a bit more careful about what I jump onto here with. Because each time, he's going to take extra... Um, he, I think each time he has either more... Yeah, I think he gets more weak spots.
Oh no. We ran out of arrows! So he hoits us off. I mean, it, more are always falling. You should probably try to farm as many arrows as you can from down here before you carry the thing over. And hey, more hearts! You aren't exactly at risk of death in this version of the fight. But uh, we all know who... W There's always take them all on if you want an actual challenge. Let's be fair. It just needs to be really cool. Oh wait, he's actually maintaining his weak spots from the previous run. Right, at this point we have to actually hit the eye to make him weak. And then Link teleports his cart right down to the bottom because they aren't going to be so cruel as that. Oh. Honestly, I remember that fight being a lot longer than that. Maybe I hit him too much. Well, that's awkward because I don't know whether I particularly want to move on to the next stair. I don't actually know what I want to do with the rest of the episode. Huh. It, they do go, Link. You actually beat that terrifying giant of a monster. Amazing. With it defeated, all of the spirit tracks should be restored. Let's head back to the Tower of Spirits. The fire glyph started glowing. The tracks to the tower have been restored. But are there still dark trains hanging about making a nuisance of themselves? You got a heart container. You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts. So I do remember that on the outside there was at least a bunny. We can go pick that up. I'm very worried about Anjin. Let's hurry back to the Tower of Spirits. Are you ready to go, Link? There was a bunny out here somewhere, and it does look like those dark trains are done, so it might be fun. We might actually be able to get our Mega Ice back. Right, let's head back to the Tower of Spirits! Oh yeah, we've got blue tracks now to show us the fastest way back.
Incidentally, uh, we don't get to hear Cursed Overworld anymore, but we do get this bunny. Ooh, that's uh, so much nicer rabbit than the previous one was. We no longer have the Cursed Overworld theme, which is kind of a shame because I quite like it. Bunny, he must be on the lower half. Where is it? There was definitely a rabbit around here. I remember it causing us grief that we couldn't get it. Wait, no. I heard it. Oh, that's why. It's because it's hidden right behind here, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can catch it this time. Survey says no! Because of a... Now here's the thing, I don't feel comfortable by... I don't feel comfortable to just make the whole episode catching this guy over and over again, so... Let's go back. And I'm going to do something kind of cheeky, but... Mm. In fact, maybe I did the wrong thing for this, setting up this episode. I'm going to try buying the Mega Ice again. It looks like the Dark Trains are gone. It's always possible that the Dark Trains will respawn. The way I see it, there's two ways we can go about this. We can either take it through the cave to get to Warp, Gra to get to warp Gate 3 there, or we can take it through Fire Realm. Now the Fire Realm would be much faster, provided those Dark Trains stay despawned. But if they do respawn, then I'm considering actually that we might just want to shoot the Snurgler out of the scut. No, those ones aren't Snurglers. Snurglers are the big ones that filch your keys. I, I think the small ones are called Snurgles. Uh, well, we shouldn't be safe to leave the train to run while I go look this up. Okay, you know what? We have to stop here because the train's about to explode.
Yeah, the the little ones are called Snurgles. At least we have that. we were to turn right, actually, this would give us the... Ooh. Turning right gives us the Goron practice range, and I think it's now open now that we've fixed what was going on with the Volcano Temple. One of my favorite things to do when I'm just driving about is... One of my favorite things to do when I'm just driving about in the overworld is to pull the whistle in time to the main music. I'm just not used to doing it with this train, with it, which has a very deep whistle. Well, these trains are unfortunately back. That's right, you take that left turn. Tactic to wait until there's a dark train distracting me so I can't focus on taking you out, you rotten little thing. I hope there aren't any bunnies up in that top left area because it'll be very awkward if there are. This premium mega ice is gonna run you a full <laughs> cheaper. Wah wah wah! I must have heard you wrong. This is premium mega ice costing a hundred rupees. You interested in cheaper? What was that you said? Steeper? You want it steeper? Oh, I couldn't do that to you, guy. Your pal. So this kilo mega ice can be yours for the low price of a hundred rupees. Uh, I'm going to try saying cheaper once more, and that if he doesn't, then I'll go in. Cheaper. Alright, alright, I get the message. You want it cheaper, I'll go cheaper. 50 rupees, that's pocket change and you know it. Now will you buy it? Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if you ever need more. Oh, and here, leave and load up your wagon. Don't forget all those things I was telling you about the ice, okay? The ice is fine until you get to warmer areas, then you gotta look out. If you putt around too long in the grass, all that sweet cargo is gonna melt. Wait, he didn't say anything about tipping this time. I guess Ferris must be out snapping train photos as usual. Should we get going? Okay, I'll try running the train at full spi- Okay, this is dangerous, but... I'm going to save my game here. Here's my reasoning. I would rather just run the full train journey. I would rather run the full train journey and see if I can just go head first straight for the Fire Realm, for the Goron Village. If there's dark trains in the way, then I might try sneaking around the back way, but it's important just to have these save files on demand. Now here's the question. 
if you go around randomly, are you going to pick the route that- Nope, you're going to be the nice train this time. I honestly did it. It's kind of ironic because I was thinking, it's actually giving me the choice to, to get to ask for it cheaper. How is it actually going to give it to me? Because it, he actually leads your haggling on for uh, quite a bit before admitting, okay, fine, you can have it cheaper. 50 rupees doesn't feel like that much cheaper than 100 entirely, but at the same time... Uh, actually, where does this map go? Um, give me the rail map. That's two. That leads us to here. One, two, three. It doesn't feel like it would be that sh short of a distance, but who knows? It looks about the same distance either way, though. I am taking it patiently because I want to be ready for when the Snurgles show up. I was ready for when the Snurgles showed up. Could have gone for the cannon, but I. When you're dealing with, when you're dealing with cargo, you just don't mess about. Now here's the question: Are they, are they actually going to make me run the whole riddle no roll a second time? Okay, dead ahead. Honestly surprised that they just let you take the direct route here. For some reason I remember it being a much bigger pain. For some reason, this is a whistle tunnel. And it is still very hot, so we are still losing our ice. We have to hustle, we have to hustle. Hey, engineer! No, 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 no time. Yeah, it's still melting! Is something the matter? Got it! What a go getter! Take all of it, take even the extra. Good work, Captain. I am a big fan of yours. And now I am all full of grateful feelings. Is this a force gem that would have made our previous trial through this place with Mega Ice much easier? The fire glyph has started glowing. No, that's just a really weird random dead end. New tracks have appeared. Great, I cannot wait to start looping around. Is there anything special in here? 
I mean, I did ask. I cannot complain when I asked for there to be something worth getting there. Ah, home sweet home. I love it so much, I might never go outside again. Well, if these volcan- if these lava geysers ever come back, then you won't be able to go outside ever again. Hey, engineer kid, we go and hear about this stuff here called snow that you can find in Anuki village. Could be a rumor, but we hear it is cold, fluffy, pure white, and also nice. Have you ever seen this stuff before? Of course. Oh wow, I want to roll around in this snow. Ah, uh, I bet it's so fluffy. Would you please take me to Anuki village? Sure. Oh joy, my first ever trip. So let's think this one over. Pop open the rail map. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the direct route would be the safest route for us to take. It does mean going past a lot of snowmen though. Shall we go? All aboard? Uh, it's actually quite late, isn't it? Let's go, go catch it! So, skimming ahead because it is late and we have... Yeah. It's late, the episode should have been wrapped up by this point, so... Nurgle's dangerous is that they can show up when you're busy trying to fire off cannons at other things, I think. But yes, skim ahead to the what's it. Pick up the whistle here. Man, this kingdom has a problem, doesn't it? Should not have worked as well as it should. Oh yeah, and we probably shouldn't have slammed on the slow though because there is a dark train coming up from behind. But we do have the intersection ahead, so we should be able to make it. Thing. 
Set up a little arch there, we can come fill it in later. So much for wrapping up the episode, am I right? And so much for skimming, am I right? So it was all true. This whole place is covered in white fluffy stuff. I'm so glad I made the trip out here. I'm so glad you gave me a ride. You got a force gem. The snow glyphs started glowing. Ooh, that's an interesting shortcut. I hope it doesn't mean that the armored train is now free to roam the entire region because that would be a nightmare. Oh, but I cannot forget my manners. First things first, I must go meet the village head. I guess next time we go find out how well he fit in around here. Uh, oh, what's in the mail? Hey, hey, howdy, mister! You got a letter from Nico, Link? You know, for his age, Nico sure has an energy to burn. How old is he anyway? When I saw him last, he made me listen to his so-called masterpiece. Which is to say, the old fellow pretty much talked my poor ear off. Now where were we again? Alright, you learn. Here you go, fresh from the bag! Here you go! You got a letter from the postman, go to the collection screen to read it. Okay, I've delivered your post safely to you. My work seems to be done here, so I'll be off. See you around! Hmm... How are you going in your travels? Are you going collecting a lot of stamps for me? I hope to see your smiling face back in the outset village soon. Oh, when I was cleaning up the other day, I found this. I have no idea where it will take you, so why not find out yourself? Huh. I actually do not remember about these. Well, we'll have things to do next time, because now is really a time to wrap up the episode. Until then, guys, take care. I'll see you all around.